welcome to another exciting episode of Below Average Gaming. Gotta say, I am just so, 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 so not sorry for for not posting a video in a while. I know that sounds mean, that sounds arrogant and whatever, but I was actually doing some pretty important stuff. You know, I was like getting married and having my honeymoon and stuff like that. That was awesome, first off, might I say. I'll have some fun stories about that. <laughs> not those stories, you crazy kids. Those are private. No, it's about sex. Um, just kidding. Just kidding. Completely. Um, don't report me to the police or anything. I don't know if what I'm doing is legal right now. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, a lot of stuff, but big, big stuff happening. I'm just screaming and I'm sure my neighbors are curious as to what I'm doing over here. But yeah, um, a lot of stuff. I got, like I said, I got married, went on a honeymoon, moved into a new apartment, um, got a new job all within the span of like two weeks so crazy blessed hashtag blessed um on stuff like that and then my favorite absolutely favorite uh holiday is coming up <coughs> pardon me it's coming up so i am just super fracking pumped about that um yeah not much else to say there as you can see i'm running around my farm i'm just maintaining making sure everything's good as usual um i have that mansion that i was working on before and I think I'm done with that because I'm not going to work on it very much anymore because it's just a crazy huge chore to have to do. I mean, I love doing stuff like that, but it's just a crazy, crazy huge chore. If it's hard to see on the screen too, I am completely so Here, let me do this. Let me do this. Oh, God, what have I done? Okay. Do that. Do that. Um, field division. Norm I always forget if it's that one or that one. I think it's this. Uh, GUI scale auto. Let's go a little bit. Not small. Not normal. Is normal auto? Why is it normal auto? Back to game. That's the same size. Let's do that. Auto. Small. I, I guess I'll just leave it on auto. I don't think it matters. Whatever. Graphics fast. I want fancy graphics. Don't. <laughs> Felipe 98. My That's probably one of my favorite mod quotes ever. Super easy one too. Just don't. Don't you do it. Do not. But yeah, fun stuff there. I have a ton of stories about that. I saw dolphins. That was pretty insane. Um, we went on a cruise for the honeymoon to Catalina and Ensenada, which is pretty interesting. Um. Yeah, that was fun. We saw dolphins. I rented a golf cart and we drove that all around the uh, the island of Catalina. Fun fact, for those of you who have never been to Catalina, is um, it's owned by the family. Oh, I need those. Of the guy who invented Wrigley's chewing gum. Can you believe that? That's is that science has come so far. I have to say. And just uh, the, the fact that the guy who invented chewing gum owns his own island. Let's see if anyone's uh, sold me any sugar cane before I go. See, I got that down too. Sugar cane. Not wheat. Sugar I got nine. And that's about it from there. So, you know, a good haul. Really good haul. I'm proud. But yeah, I did all that stuff. My favorite holiday is coming up. Halloween. Me and my wife are going to be uh, Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf. That'll be fun. I'm really excited to be Little Red Riding Hood. I think it'll be exciting. New twist on that idea. Because uh, gender equality, right? And uh, we went to Catalina. Oh, fun story. Awesome story. So, um, in Ensenada, if you haven't been, <coughs> excuse me, the whole thing is um, when you're buying stuff, you got to haggle. You're, I'm sorry about the low quality on this video. Oh, ooh. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I don't think there's any way for him to get- Oh no, I was wrong. I was horribly mistaken. Now I gotta kill you, man. Boom. Suck dis. But in Ensenada, um, you gotta haggle. So someone's like, ah, oh, it's 15 bucks. You're like, oh man, you can't do like 10. And they're like, ah oh, yeah, I can do 10 for you. And you're like, awesome, man, thanks. And so we kept on doing that. That's like what you do. That, you know, you're not doing anything bad or anything. That's just how you do it. So, um, yeah. 
we're doing that and i kept on pulling the one like oh you know we're on our honeymoon and i'd instantly get it dropped like five bucks and i was like this is the best day ever getting married is paying off right now we're making money by being married and uh we went to disneyland if i have to say anything <clears throat> let me just say this did anyone talk to me no oops I have to say anything about Disneyland and going there on your honeymoon? Go up, you just go, even if you're not on your honeymoon, go up to the front counter. As soon as you get in, go to that little stand there on your left where they just sell like brochures and whatnot. And just be like, hey, uh, man or woman who works here, human being. Hello there, fellow human being without an agenda. Um, today is my, what is my, uh, honeymoon? It's my honeymoon today. Me and my, uh, my wife, my new wife. It's our honeymoon. And they go, oh, congratulations. And then they give you a pin. And that pin is fantastic. Because with that pin, you can do anything you want and never get in trouble. There is no consequences for your actions anymore. Because they'd be like, oh, wait, you just got married? Well, how'd you like all the money from the register? <laughs> like, what? That's insane. You're insane, Mickey. And, uh, yeah. But like for real though, we went on the Matterhorn and we got to the end. And the, the first off, the wait, the wait line for the Matterhorn was like 45 minutes. So we waited about 45 minutes and uh, we got to the front and we rode the Matterhorn. It was awesome because we have me and my wife haven't been in like 10 years each. So we're like, okay, cool, Disneyland. <laughs> we live in California and we won't. We had, the last time we went was 10 years ago. That's a shame. Because like with that, what's the point? What's the point of living in California? But um. Yeah, so we went, we went on the Matterhorn, we got to the end, nice old gentleman there, and he was like, oh, was you, uh, congratulations, you just got married, and we're like, yeah, we just got married, uh, like, four days ago, and he's like, oh, we, that's pretty exciting, you crazy kids, and I was like, yeah, thanks, and he was like, hey, when the ride stops right now, and everyone gets out, is it okay if I just let you go again, and I was like, for real, dude, you know what? awesome I'll do it and he was like okay and so he like put his finger in the air and made a circular motion and the lady on the other end like nodded her head and then when we got there uh, and they opened the gates they told everyone they said like everyone stay back please this one is um we're gonna have to send this one through again and everyone was like oh man and we we're like yeah suck it you five-year-olds who want to go on this ride because you've never been to the happiest place on earth you wait ten more minutes because you don't deserve it. I've waited 10 years and through a marriage to get to this point in my life. So I stole happiness from a bunch of children now that I say the story out loud. Um, yeah. And that happened, yeah. The guy was just like, you guys want to go again because you're married? And we're like, yeah, sure. And he, we're like, he's like, okay, here you go. And then we just went again. And it was uh, magical. Truly the happiest place on earth. What else happened? Oh, some, we went to that fireworks show. That was pretty cool. We went to that fireworks show, you know, the big one at the end where everyone goes and it's super crazy and you can't get a seat anywhere. We went and we showed up late because we had fast passes to Space Mountain. Awesome ride, by the way. We went for Halloween time and that thing is just a monster during Halloween time. But we went on that and we got out and we're like, oh, shoot, you know, now there's nowhere to sit for the fireworks thing. We're walking through and we're just kind of following the huge line of people that are also all trying to find seats. Um... And you know, I walk past this guy who's there um, holding down the trash can, or whatever his job was. And I was like, hey dude, can we just like sit here? I know it's really far away and we can't see anything, but we just want a place to like sit down, enjoy the show or whatever. And he was like, no, sorry, you know, you can't sit here. You gotta be in the white, uh, the white ropes. You gotta be behind those white ropes. Um, and uh, we're like, oh, okay. And then he looks at us and goes, he like puts his hand out and stops me and goes, wait a minute. Did you two just get married? And we're like, uh, yeah. And he looks at the pins and he goes, congratulations. And I was like, thanks, dude. And he goes, it's just the two of you then, right? I'm like, yeah. And he goes, I could already, I could already tell, like, so we're about to get something special. And he goes, all right, if it's just the two of you and you're on your honeymoon, why don't you guys just follow me? And we're like, what? And he, like, picks up the rope and takes us through. And there's this sea of just black metal folding chairs that are all empty they're all empty for some reason and he's like yeah this was for the band that played for the parade earlier we normally keep it roped off all day you know 
just to be safe and whatnot. But uh, you guys can sit here. So we had, I want to say, about 30 chairs to ourselves to just be like, yeah, you know, we're not only here enjoying the fireworks show, but we got room to spare. And so we did that, and that was awesome. And it was great because he put us down there, and he's like, yeah, just go ahead and sit down there. Congratulations, I really hope you guys have a- Hey, hey, hey! And he looks back, and we look back, and there's like a family of like five just trying, like going under the rope to sit there. And they have like a stroller and a little child and like a little baby and all that stuff. And he's like, hey, hey, hey! You can't be on here. You gotta get out of here. What the heck are you doing? Get back under that rope. I'll hit you, I swear to God. And they're like, oh, we're sorry. Our kids just really need to sit down. Their feet are tired. I'm a diabetic. All this crazy stuff. And uh, he's like, you can't be over here. You gotta get right over on the other side of the... And they're like scared. And they're like getting under, under the rope. And they're like, I'm so sorry. I didn't I didn't mean to. And he's like, yeah, you get back over there. No. People think they can do whatever they want. How dare they? Uh, yeah, anyway, congratulations, you two. Enjoy the rest of the fireworks show. And uh, have a happy rest of your life. And we're like just staring there in awe. Just like... Uh, oh, okay, dude. Um, th thank you. He's like, yeah. And again, hey, congratulations. And it was awesome. So I recommend anyone who goes to Disneyland just be like, hey, um, it's our honeymoon or it's our anniversary or whatever. It's the same pin. And the people will be like, oh yeah, we're gonna treat you like freaking royalty. Disneyland, gotta say, knows how to treat people right. And I gotta say, you know, I, 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 that was probably, we went on a cruise for four days to two different countries and, uh, you know, spent some time at the ocean and stuff. I'm getting crazy texts from people right now, sorry. Spent some time on the ocean and all that stuff, but Disneyland by far was the best just because they were like, hey, you know what? You guys deserve something a little extra. And we're like, thanks, Mickey. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else did we do? We did a bunch. Oh, my gosh. We had, yeah, I gotta say, I gotta say, because I know people are like, oh, you went to Disneyland and a cruise? You guys must be so rich. Boo, boo, boo. I wish I were that lucky to just have money to throw away. <laughs> that's going on for way too long. But, yeah. Um, no, we actually got really lucky. Um, we had a ton of people at the wedding who just, like, who had stuff that they wanted to donate to us. Who were just like, you know, you need flowers? I got a flower shop. We love you guys. Just take all the flowers you need. You need a cake? Well, my friend of a friend makes cakes, and they owe me a favor, so I'll get you guys a beautiful cake. And it was a beautiful cake. And I know I'm trading with all these crappy villagers, but whatever. So, yeah, that was pretty awesome. And um, the reason I said it is even the honeymoon too, and everything was just people, um, like you know, hey, oops, just like hey, you know, I want to pay for the honeymoon. Let me pay for the honeymoon for you. And then we had tickets to Disneyland anyway, and we're like, let's just use those for the honeymoon. So everything really worked out well. Like I, I gotta say, it was fantastic. I can't trade with any of these guys. Are you serious? Um, I don't care about you. Oh, close that door. But yeah, it was just fantastic. It was a true blessing. Hashtag blessed. To have all that stuff um, for the wedding. <clears throat> what else happened? Oh, and Halloween's coming up. We're going to be in Ryan Hood, that whole thing. I got a new job um, working for a church. For the church that I've attended since I was a wee little lad. There we go. That's one. What? Son of a bitch. Um, the one that I've been working at since I was a wee little lad. And, um... Yeah, pretty much what I do is I answer phones, I run it. I'm, I'm an intern, I'm a paid intern. So I, uh, I answer phones, I run errands. They said, hey, we need a sign made to keep people from trying to go through this door because it's locked every day, every week. And people are getting mad because new people keep on trying to go through this door and they get mad. So I was like, okay. So I went to an MS Paint, spent some time making a sign, and they are like, oh yeah, zhuzh it up a little bit, you know? You got a couple hours, you know, whatever. Whatever long it takes you to make a good sign, just go for it. They're really understanding about stuff like that, which is awesome. So I was like, all right. So I went to MS Paint, made a pretty sick looking sign for MS Paint. If I, oh God, I'm dying. If I do say so myself, I made a pretty awesome looking sign. Loot and Larry. So that was pretty fun. Um, like I guess I answer the phones. It, it's, it sucks because I'm the first person that the people who call the church talk to. Um, 
Yeah, so that's pretty bad. That's a mistake on their part. Like, I had someone call and uh, couldn't understand a word they said. Could not understand a single word they said. Come to find out it's someone who's, like, infirmed in the hospital because of, like, a stroke or whatever. And um, they are like, who called? And I was like, I don't know. They're like, well, who are you on the phone with? And I was like, I don't know. They're like, well, what happened? Why, why is this happening? I was like, I don't know. I was being honest with them. I was like, D to be honest, to be fair, I have no idea what that phone call was. It was also like my second day there. I, in fact, it was my second day there working in that office. So, yeah. And again, I'm sorry if this footage is like shaky or slower, if there's anything. If there's crazy bad stuff, like the audio is just being like, then I'm just not going to post it, obviously. And then you won't even know because... Yeah, you won't know. You'll have no idea. You'll just be like, oh, I guess he's going another week without recording or whatever. I feel like I've been gone for forever, but I think in reality it's only been like three weeks. Maybe four weeks. But I feel like I've been gone from the YouTubes for forever. I had another channel that I started. <coughs> Put like one, I guess that's it. Put like one video on there, and I was like, I'm done with that. Because the same thing as this, it's just, I'm not playing video games. It's just you listening to audio. Which some people like. I, there's really mixed reviews on what people think of my videos. I got the burps today. <laughs> Pardon me. Remind me that I'm putting paper in here because I will forget. Oh, you stay in there, you. Oh, shoot. I don't have any books. That's what it was. I was like, why do I stop all this paper? I'm not using it right now. And I just remembered because I don't have any books. Got a ton of sheep eggs. I should probably just give those away to someone. I like giving stuff away, because I know for a fact that I'm not going to use it. I have pickaxes here. Is that the silk touch one that I'm trying not to use? Yeah. Yes, it is. Why can't I make a book with rotten flesh? I think that should be a thing. If I have enough rotten flesh, because you think about it like this. You have flesh that's like falling apart. It's gross, just disgusting. You put enough together, you could probably make decent leather. Right? So, why, why would... I, I I just think, you know, there should be more ways to get leather. Leather is one of those things that's really difficult to get in the game. And as they make more updates and whatnot, you know, that should become something that's a little easier to get a hold of. I think, in my opinion. Because you need it for a lot of stuff. You need it for clothing, right? So in the game, that should at least be something that's easier to get a hold of. I have no leather. I have absolutely no leather. Do, 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 do. I have leather hat, I have leather boots, but no, just plain leather. Do I have cow eggs and I could just get some leather? Nothing. Nothing at all. Got a bunch of zombie eggs. I don't even have enough gold to make zombies. Man, I left. Oh, there's some. I left this place in just utter ruin when I left. Sweet lord. Leather in there, nope. Any leather in there? I know I'm gonna pass it up. I know there's like a stack or something somewhere that I just am passing up completely. <coughs> hmm. Where the bungee cord is it? So much cooked meat. You, you can tell so bad that I have a mechanism to do this. But look at like all this rotten flesh. I should be able to make something with that rotten flesh. I'm kind of upset that I can't. Just use There's more sugar cane. Yeah, I guess I got 12 books. That's fine. I usually can only make like 12. I think it's this one. No, it's this one. There we go. Boom, skadoom, boom. What should I make? What should I make? I'm gonna make ba -ba 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 -ba. Silk touch is usually pretty good and I can get a ton of silk touch. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, actually I think there's one that gives me it for like six. All right, one of you guys is like really good about it. Silk touch Todd. You'll give me like a ton, won't you? Yeah! Oh, Todd! You're the best. 
I think Todd is the villager featured in the most episodes of Below Average Gaming. And I want to say it's like by far. It's like by a crazy amount. Because all the other ones, like they have names and whatnot, but Todd is the only one that's been referenced multiple times. Unbreaking Ernest. Oh, I feel, I remember this guy like rips me off. But it's the best one I have. It's like 27, yeah. Plus, I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm really not going to do that. I'm going to get some, um, fortune. Because for, Frank rips me off. No, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get looting. Looting Larry, what do you got for me today, sir? Looting too. Let me get some of thems. Larry, come on, two? Only two books? That's fine. Take your time. Just reload. Whatever. You're good. I'm not worried about you. Come back over here. Do I want Depth Strider? Do I want Lure? Do I want Fire Protection? Sharpness of five. And are the bonds punch? Fire Aspect. Sharpness. Sharpness Frank. Sharpness Sean. One of you sucks and one of you is great. I forget which was which. Sharpness 5 or 29. I need to put up better signs for these. Or 29 is the same thing. Yep. I'm gonna go fire aspect. These ones really fire aspect usually does really well with um there's leaving one. With um What's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, PvP. When we do PvP games. Fire aspect works really well, and I have eight emeralds. That's enough to get another silk touch if he's reset. Fingers crossed. Silk touch, Todd. How's it going? You haven't reset yet. You're a. You got anything I can do for two emeralds? Oh, I can do glass. I'll just grab some glass, and hopefully you'll reset. If I'm really lucky. If I'm really lucky. Stand over here. I feel like. I don't know if it's true. Let me know in the comments or message me or whatever if it's true. That if you like stand away for a sec, they're more likely to reset. Oh, look, I was right. Everything I believe was correct all along. There we go. Oh, yes, you perfect. God's perfect idiot. Todd, I owe you one, man. I'm not going to kill you today. In fact, I'm going to give you some more paper. I know how you assholes love paper. Pop that in there. What to Tobias or Todd? Are you really gonna give me enough that I can get another? Oh my gosh, you're the best man. Give me a sec. Let me get you some more paper. Cause I know you're all about that paper. You're all about that money, money, money. He don't need no money, money, money. Todd the villager. And then he's resetting as I'm doing this. Dude. Cut that out. You're just being too good of a pro You're an idiot. I hate you so much. Oh my gosh. I hate you so much. If I walk away, maybe he'll reset. Oh, he did reset. <laughs> I'm sorry, Todd. I didn't mean to be that. Um, yeah, you're a good guy. We're both good guys. You and I. Cut from the same cloth, as some would say. Let's do that. I have enough officially for two books. Pop that right in there. Pop that right in there. I don't want power. I do want power. But I'd much rather have some silk touch. Yeah, yes. In fact, I could get more later. But I'm not gonna. Pop that right there. Pop that right there. Gonna go reload my shop. Get ready for the lag. Here we come. Here comes the lag. Or maybe it doesn't. Because that's how lag works. Oh, God. It's raining. Oh, it's, it's so bad. It's so horrible. Oh, my goodness. This lag is unreal. Just gotta get over there. Oh, no. Bad things are happening. <laughs> I just got a warning. High CPU usage detected. Thanks, man. I got some fire aspect. I think I got those here. Put that in there. Hurry, hurry, please. I just want to... Yes. Oh, I got three? Oh, I got a couple of those, huh? Silk touch. Then I got two looting. Ugh. Ah. Come on. Come on. Just let me die. Just let me die. 
and we're back everything's normal everything's regular look at that just a purple force field of death how many of my sheep are dead every time i go in my sheep pen more and more sheep are dead and i know what you're thinking right now you're thinking hey that's way over 250 uh characters spawned into one area man you're breaking the rules and to that i say uh shut up because i've counted and with the number of villagers i have i've counted my villagers as 100 there's not 100 so i only have 150 sheep in here which means that i am still well within how many things i can have i have rabbits underground maybe I, don't know, I think i killed them all i think i have four and then I have villagers. I think I actually only have like 60. And then I have 100 sheep. Or so. Oh, no, not today. You get back from me, Satan. Let's grab some rotten flesh. Dooby dooby doo. And this is just a day in the life of Stern, you know? Just what I do on a daily basis. Come down here, grab all that stuff, come up here. Don't you do it. I'll hit you. Try to get out before the sheep notice I'm gone. There we go. <clears throat> I'm going to figure out a better way to get in and out of there. I, kn I know that, like, if there's a corner and you put a stick, like, if I were to put a stick here and not these here, and the sheep can't get through. Something like that. I don't know what it was, but it's something kind of like that. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else was I going to do? Oh, I was going to go count my gold, you know, like a good uh, rich person does. There's some gold there. There's some gold there. Let's see how many apples I can enchant. I don't think I can enchant any. To be real with you guys. To be real, real quick. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I'd put gold over here. So many compasses. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, look, I have all those sheep eggs and... Uh, I'm not spawning them, because I don't want to get that close to the 250 limit. Because what happens if I have 250 exactly, and then one of these mofos just decides to have a baby? I'm like, oh shoot, now i got to kill that baby. That's not what I'm about. That hurts my soul. To have to do that. I don't think I'd put gold anywhere past these first three. Yeah. <laughs> Knowing myself, and how I am. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm not going to have any word. This is going to be one bar. One ingot. It's going to be one ingot. Yeah, nowhere near. Nowhere near what I need. <sighs> so another day of not getting to spawn zombies. But that's it. You know, just wanted to say, you know, thanks for keeping up with the channel. Um, Thanks for, you know, everything. I've been gone for a long time. People still here. People still asking for videos. Um, So, all, yeah, just thank you so much for all that more apples in here? What the heck am I doing? Toss that right up in there. Um, but yeah, thank you for keeping up. Thank you for keeping track of a lot of stuff. Thank you for continuing to watch. I am I really am sorry that I've been gone. But I feel like it was for a good reason. I feel like getting married. Um, moving into a new place. Getting ready for Halloween. I have so much Halloween stuff up, my, you guys. It's just a nightmare. It's a small apartment, but there's just so much Halloween stuff. And, uh, you know, I thank you guys for just be in there. I don't know if I can say that enough. I can't thank you enough for continuing to be here, continuing to ask for videos, and continuing to just be a huge part of my life and of my marriage. So thank you. I love you. You're the best. Bye, you monsters.